but you can you can see some news here. It's German, of course. Uh, so Zelensky will travel to Washington. Um. Ah, yeah. Zelensky will travel to Washington for a trip for a journey, not journey for a visit. He will speak to Biden, I think, and to in front of the Congress. So, yeah. Um, you know, the, his first um, time that he left the country, the um, left Ukraine, since uh, um, February twenty fourth. And they want to deliver him a new weapon system, this pet Patriot system. Uh, I'll just scroll through and um, I will later maybe talk about a few more things. They are so proud, I think, for the LNG gas that they now get. It's more, it's, I think, um, not very good for the environment to um, ship it here over the Atlantic. It's the first time that I talk about news here on Twitch. Let's see if it um, if I like it. Ah yeah, this is something I want to talk with you about. This um this article. Um let me see something. Mm. We can also translate websites here. So uh, just enter the website, the domain. What's this? Uh, I thought something important to do it here. So this is hopefully not the translated website. Yeah, negotiations moment, what was it? It was translating from German into English, of course. Not the other way around. It, it, I mean... Ah. Negotiations as a way out of the conflict. It's a very interesting article I found, um, and that's why I want to read it here. Moment. And here I am back again. Um, we go back to the main screen. I have still to get used to doing this here to switch between the different screens. Maybe I can even do it then that I uh, went through clicking on this one and um, you know making the other um, scene appearing and then also the microphone gets muted. So um, I would just save one click, but anyway, that's not so important now. This is an article I want to talk with you about, or I want here to talk about, and um, yeah. 
So negotiations um, uh, um, as a way out. Um, this article is from the 19th of um, December 2022, uh, for this year, of course. Um, and so it's a few days old. It's by Marta Wilinski from the RD Studio Moscow. So um, RD, Stu RD is a German, um, uh, how to say this in English, uh, um, news um, thing. They they publish news. Um, sometimes I I just don't know the English word, so um, forgive me. But here, how do Russians feel about negotiations with Ukraine? A slim majority is currently in favor. Putin states that he is open to this without moving away from his positions. His positions are, I think, um, known to everyone. Um, neutral Ukraine is one of the most important um, um points of what he wants. I think, and also um. Uh, second language in Ukraine and um, uh, the Crimea gets recognized by the international community. So these are one of the a few of his his main main points. Um, but yeah, Ukraine um says they will just start negotiations again when um Moscow um, when Russia withdrew all of the troops from Ukraine, and no uh, also it's um not allowed anymore kind of to negotiate with Putin. So, but that's something which gets also mentioned in the article that I will just continue reading. My wish for the new year is peace um, all over the world, says um, Peninsula Penins Pe Penins will be fine and peaceful. Igor, who is just leaving the metro station in the center of Moscow, wishes something similar. Unlike the two women, however, he also associates a victory for Russia over Ukraine. Of course I want Russia to win. What kind of negotiations can there be with Nazis and fascists? The majority in Russia is in favor of negotiations. So Igor is um, talking about whom the Kremlin claims to be primary mm, According to the la latest study by the renowned Moscow Opinion Research Institute, um, Levada Centrum, the proportion of those who, like Igor, are in favor of continuing the fighting has um, recently risen sl slightly again from 36% in October to 41% in November. However, a narrow majority of respondents um, are still in favor of negotiations, especially the younger ones. As um, probably it is um, always the case for all the countries that I think at least that the younger people are more likely to um, want um, negotiations and uh, peace and so than the older generations. Maybe that's uh, not always true. Of course, it's not always true. But um, yeah, I'm not surprised that the younger ones are more open to this. Negotiations for which um, the Russian leadership has um, repeatedly as asserted that it is in principle a prince. It is in principle ready, while right? at the same time emphasizing my English, <laughs> saying that the so-called special mail operation will continue until all of its goals have been achieved. Only recently, Vladimir Putin himself once again underlined it, but also formulated um questions that across from his point of view, how can you um negotiate? What about? Can you negotiate with anyone at all? And uh, where are the um, guarantees? That's the question. But in the but in the at the end of the day, you have to negotiate. That's of course always true because all the wars end in the um finally through negotiations um in some way, shape, or another form. Ukraine demands full withdrawal. As I mentioned earlier, it has been almost nine months since the late last meeting of the delegations of Russia and Ukraine. It took place in Istanbul at the end of March. Um, after that, there were no more direct negotiations. Both parties blamed each other for their stagnation. The Ukrainian side is now demanding a complete withdrawal of Russian troops from their territory before resuming talks. Abbas uh, Galyanov, a Russian politician, political expert, and former speechwriter for Vladimir Putin, is convinced that the 
Russian president is far from ready to agree to such conditions. Who might have thought this? Um, especially since Ukraine has uh, now banned direct negotiations with P P President Putin by decree, which is, I think, um, um, stupid because forbidding yourself to negotiate is something. I think it's weird. But anyway, um, especially since okay, we I read this already. Um, uh, per decree. But the political um, scientist who now lives abroad also describes um, Putin's willingness to make a consciousness as manageable in his to refrain from further demands. And there were a lot of demands at the um, beginning, including the dismantle, dism dismissal of the Ukrainian government under Zelensky. He has um, since renounced this um, in his um, opinion. That is... Uh, Even a failed negotiation, uh, even a failed negotiations bring a result. The Russian president is well aware um, that his initial goal of complete victory over Ukraine can no longer be achieved, which is uh, why he even wants um, negotiation negotiations a uh, difficult word um, as a way out. Explains Putin's um, Putin expert Galyanov. At the same time, however, he called he could not end the military operation without um a present pill um result, so that the Russian so would not soon start asking themselves the questions of the point of the whole thing, which is similar um to um our uh, the Germans um involvement in Afghanistan where the politicians also um were unable to uh um. Say that in some in some ways it was also a failure the whole mission in Afghanistan, um. So um, the they um, stayed there and um, kept fighting against the Taliban and all of this um kept going for years because they were unable to um agree that maybe not everything went perfect. Um, in its rhetoric and its actions, the Kremlin is therefore still visible, be it um, through the continuation of the most recent attacks on the Ukrainian infrastructure, the demand for international recognition of the Ukrainian um, territories annexed by Russia, or the in, in instances on the binding security guarantees formulated a year ago, which would in principle, rule out Ukraine's NATO membership, which I think is, um, I mean, I think Ukraine should not become NATO membership. I think the NATO should not exist. But um, definitely Ukraine should not join. This would just make things worse. And even in the, even in the few telephone calls from Western heads of state and governments, such as Olaf Scholz or Emmanuel Macron, have with Putin, there are no signs of movement. Nevertheless, these talks are important. They, 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 says political expert Goryanov, um, even unsuccessful negotiations bring a result. It is important to test the mood. Does he um, perhaps have doubts? If so, which ones? You have to check that. Make a phone call and talk to them. Talk to him. Mm, Galina, Galinanov, Galia, Galianov does not believe in an elite coup. This means that diplomatic um, contact is maintained. Such um, talks could not ensure a breakthrough according to the current status. Um, this can only be expec expected from the inside, says Galyanov, um, from above. He per personally doesn't believe in, in a kind of elite coup. It is a conspir conspiracy a fall, um, a revolt, Galyanov says, no, as I think they will actively try to persuade him to name a successor and retire so that the successor can then conduct negotiations with Zelensky and Tuition. I'm not sure about this, maybe. But the political expert makes it uh, just as clear that this 
scenario is possible but not definitive and there can be no clarity a predictable time frame for such developments for the time being politicians politicians at times kremlin spokesman dimitri peskov recently explained that not even a ceasefire for the new year is on the agenda so i think the article was very good this is really um described at um It was, it was a one which was not so um, poor war and um, like we have to support, we have to deliver, we have to deliver weapons, um, weapons, 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 weapons. Um, the first article in the riots I found which was not like this because delivering weapons does not 